Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video today. So today, I'm gonna to be answering one of your guys' biggest questions, which is how much money it actually cost me to rebuild my 335, all the money I actually put into it, and just the money it actually took me to rebuild it. So. First number I'm gonna give you guys is a rebuilding cost. The second number is pretty much with all the mods and everything. So I'll, I'll tell you guys all that as soon as I get this camera to Johnny over here. So pretty much I got this car as a vandalized car. It's actually a lot worse than a vandalized car. It was, long story short, this one had a bullets through it. So I call it, this is why, I, this is the name of this 335 is Bullet. Um, it's got a long story to it and that's why you guys, a lot of people are just wondering why I went with this color scheme, the black and the blue. So I might as well explain in this video as well. So the reason I ended up going with the black and blue, blue, is pretty much day, you know, represent life. And the black was pretty much dead. The dark, that's pretty much the story to it. Car was shot up. It was pretty much a no-go. Nobody would have probably brought it back to life. Probably would have just partied it out. But, you know, but you guys made it happen. This 335 would not be on the road today if it wasn't for you guys. I love all these damn stupid cars. If I could just, woo, woo, woo. Give me a second, boys. Yes, yeah, so pretty much that's the story of this. This is the reason why with the two colors, you guys know that it was pretty much a salvage and now it's back on the roads and yeah it's all because you guys so shout out to you guys but uh, now, now actually the topic of this video is uh pretty much how much money i actually put into it i have to pull out my phone for this because uh, i wrote it down as you know we were building this baby all right so the first things first when this car was pretty much had rounds in it uh first thing that needed to get done was well at first oh the interior i did not actually factor the interior let me go ahead and add that to my nifty little notebook here so we had to pretty much fix up the whole body the body at first costed me and i have a, i have a list of miscellaneous parts and things i think i put it i was around 200 dollars for just a little bit of bondo and stuff like that because you guys know i tipped it myself and uh, it wasn't as great as i thought i would be because i you know i'm no uh i'm no pro if you guys know what i mean so i ended up paying some professionals uh they ended up doing the whole body work of the car that's why you guys see that it looks perfectly normal now uh so thank god it looks really good obviously it's unpainted unfortunately underneath this and all you guys want it to be painted but i wrapped it for pretty much the story of the car right now we'll see down the road if we end up painting her or not but yeah all the body work was done the body work was done for yeah pretty much free i know it's crazy to say um, I had my friend, his name, he has like an Instagram, he goes by the Instagram, I think it's Jose, he goes by the Instagram name is Alpine E90. I'll have his Instagram down below. The place he worked for, his boss was super chill and he let him do the body work on my car for free. And even on his time off, he would come over to my house and work on the body work as you guys saw from the builds. So pretty much a body work got done for free. So that was awesome. The base, the base cost, actually, I can't believe I forgot that the name right off the bat. The base cost of this car started off at $2,000. So I bought it for $2,000. And uh, we'll talk about the fees and everything in the end, but uh, the car was purchased and I won the auction for $2,000. And uh, pretty much right off the bat, the body work came out for free. The only real body panel I purchased was this front end bumper. This is an M Sport LCI front bumper. Um, grills was set up by you guys, so shout out to you guys. That wouldn't have been possible. So, Grills is from you guys. The front bumper is an M Sport. I ended up purchasing it for $185 and all this stuff made it a total of $300. Like the grills, the fog lights, all that stuff. Coming over here, you guys can see that I went with an LCI hood. So this is a pre-facelift 2008. I think the facelift came in 2009. Something I really want to do to my 330i as always is to go with the LCI hood. So this is an LCI. I actually picked this up for a really good deal. Picked it up for $100. And I know a lot of you guys really wanted a hood for that price. So 100 bucks, you can't beat that for an LCI hood. So LCI bumper, LCI hood, and we want the M Sport front bumper. The rest of the body kit actually ended up being for free from Keys Motorsports, so shout out to them. The side skirts were ended up free by them, so shout out to them for that. That's M Sport side skirts. Uh, we wanted to kind of keep the package a full package so we can actually say it's an M Sport. Yeah, so this is an M Sport rear bumper sent out by Keys Motorsports, so shout out to them. So I didn't pay anything for that or the side skirt. Now you guys know, when I ended up picking up this car, uh, pretty much the interior was shot up. So let me go ahead and get my keys real quick. Interior's not really the cleanest because I have all my camera gear inside. It had the black interior. This interior came from my 330i, but it had the black interior that I ended up picking up for $200 with the door panels and everything. So that was, the, the black interior is what I bought for this car. Because I needed a whole new interior. I actually bought the black interior, but the black interior ended up swapping it from the 330i into this car. I took the brown interior out of the 330i. So technically, I spent $200 for the full interior. Um, when it comes to the CCC, you guys know that I finally, 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 finally got that fixed. So, CCC's finally been replaced. That's that's including all the wiring, all the things situated in the car. That ended up being around $300 to get all the wiring, harnesses, because the fiber optics were still not cheap either. And then we ended up replacing the CCC unit so I could actually listen to music. It's awesome, finally. Now this car is pretty much complete for the most part when it comes to lights and everything, so which is great. I had one rim that was damaged on this car. It actually had a bullet straight through the rim. So the rim, we ended up replacing it. Uh, I went down, I found somebody on uh, OfferUp. They were selling it for 50 bucks. Really good deal. 
And uh, what I ended up doing, I went down there, I talked to him, and apparently he was a subscriber, so he decided to give it to me for free. So, uh, um, yeah, this ended up being free as well. There's a lot of things that ended up being free, so uh, shout out to you guys for that. Um, these side markers, because uh, the car didn't need some side markers, these came out from one of you guys, a subscriber. I think his name is Frank. I'll have his Instagram down below as well, so shout out to him for sending these. Um, and that pretty much got, because I was missing those lights for some reason. Like, they weren't working on one side, and for some reason it just wouldn't work when I bought a new one, so I ended up, he ended up sending these out and they worked great. Like coming around to, again, you see all around the car, I have these carbon fiber, uh, you know, carbon fiber emblems. You got one there. I have all, pretty much all the wheels got the center caps, carbon fiber. So that all got done. That was around $20. So that was actually a pretty good deal. And just to be realistic, a lot of just miscellaneous things you buy when you're working on cars. So I'm just gonna rough that around like $300, you know, just trying to go to like, you know, AutoZone to pick up something to do something. So I'm pretty sure I bought some nice things like some wiring or, you know, maybe some solder or some stuff like that. I'm just gonna just round everything up to like $300. So that's how much I typically paid for all the wiring and everything in this car. Like um, all the miscellaneous things that I needed to get this car on the road. And of course this car did come with some flaws. It was not perfect, it didn't drive perfect. This car did have, uh, like when I first got it, it was smoking. So I obviously when I first got it, it was smoking, I thought it was the end of the world because you know, it was shot up. So I thought it had a hole through the damn block. But luckily it was just a valve cover. Uh, we replaced the valve cover ourselves, so it cost us, uh, I don't know, I mean, all the maintenance in total cost us about $300. And, uh, I mean, no, $500. So that's actually a really good deal. We did the valve cover. Uh, let me go ahead and pop the hood for you guys real quick. So the valve cover was done, I think for like 40 bucks, something like that. We ended up placing all the spark plugs, all the ignition coils, that was all replaced. Um, we did a walnut blast uh, by my boy, he did that for free, but we I, I calculated the cost of gas and everything to go down there. I don't know if that you really should be doing that, but I did it anyway, so just to give you guys you know, an estimate to how much time and money I really put into it. So um, everything, you know, ignition coils, the oil change, I did the oil change twice by now. I don't know if you should count that, it's just regular maintenance. I'm just gonna add it for those of you guys who care about all that stuff. Spark plugs, ignition coils, walnut blast, valve cover, all that stuff was around $500, and that's a pretty good deal. I mean, people see it, it's a pretty expensive to own a 335, that's pretty much all like a valve cover and a wanna blast is like the two major things if you guys can just get the hookups on it it's a pretty good deal only other thing that I'm worried about is turbos this car obviously is notorious to have turbo pit failure around hundred thousand miles so uh, it's not out yet it's spooling everything's great so I'm not really too worried about it but it's something that may be a costly factor but then again that's just maintenance so I'm not gonna count that so when we ended up getting this car I did have some issues uh, with the whole the the guys you know that the gas tank I had a few issues with the gas tank ended up paying around $300 for two different diagnostics on the gas tank. So we gotta fact that in as well. I paid around $300 for people to diagnose this and no one figured it out besides my friend that literally put an error, pretty much, he pretty much used compressed air to figure it out and he found my problem. So if you guys wanna figure that out, just watch, make sure you try to check out the episodes on the 335. So of course it was a lot of, <coughs> oh shit. So of course it was a lot of uh, small little pieces. <coughs> Damn. So of course, there was a lot of little small pieces that we needed to take care of on this car. Um, but that was honestly like little trim pieces, stuff like that. That was honestly covered by you guys entirely. You guys sent a lot of things to this car. I have a picture of like the plaque that I'm working on for you guys. And actually, if you actually come back here, I have you guys' name still on the car uh, for people who sent out some parts for the car. And uh, you know, shout out to them. They sent out all the things that I needed. The companies also, the major two companies, sent out everything that I needed to make this car what it is today. So yeah, that's pretty much what I needed to do to rebuild it. That's including the wrap. I mean, the, I think I believe I said the wrap was $600. So that's pretty much everything that I really needed to get the car. Uh, uh, in presentable rebuilt condition. I obviously got this rear carbon fiber spoiler for about a hundred dollars. I got these front carbon fiber splitters because it, the wrap was peeling a little bit and you know your boy, uh, that's, that's the wrap life. So your boy went ahead and just got something to look cool and cover that up. So carbon fiber splitters, uh, honestly look amazing. Don't worry, these are these are real carbon. I did that right. And of course you guys saw from the last video all the mods and stuff like that I did to the car, you know, like the, the intakes, the inner core, the charge pop, all that stuff was free and I don't consider that part of the rebuild. So I'm not gonna mention the price or any of that. If you guys wanna see the mods that's in this car, you know, in specifics, make sure you guys check out that video. I'll have it like somewhere up here. All right guys, so basically uh, my boy over here, my banker, uh, he finally figured out the number that uh, we put into this car. So he's gonna give you guys a number and I think it's pretty darn impressive. I mean, for me at least, for, for rebuilding. I think it's not bad. So what was how much did we end up paying just to rebuild this car? 5,200. And? 20. 20, the center, you can't forget <laughs> the center caps. <laughs> Counting everything, guys. So 5,220 to get a pretty, like a fully healthy, all the maintenance done, you know, wrapped and in presentable condition, 335i. I think that's, that's pretty fair, 5,200 bucks. I think that's pretty fair. That's with that's even registering. That's factoring in even registration. I don't even think people put people don't even factor that in. When you buy 
a clean title of this car is about eight thousand dollars worth a hundred thousand miles and you have to pay for taxes registration all that stuff and just maintenance you probably upwards of already ten thousand dollars so pretty much we got this 335 for half of what it is and we made it what we wanted it to be. But now to talk to you guys about all the mods. So a lot of the mods did come for free, like all the engine mods and all that stuff that we talked about in the last video. And the body kit, for the most part, came out for free other than this front bumper and this hood. So we're not gonna factor that into the costs because that was all, you know, from Keys Motorsports, so shout out to them. But uh, for all the stuff that I put into it, the mods and stuff, my boy Johnny over here is gonna tell you guys the price of that real quick. So what's the number? 6,170. 6,170. That's pretty fair that's it that's even with the mods it's with i mean mods, yeah that, that's again even almost half of what you guys would keep this from the dealership so i think it's a pretty good deal uh for the most part so, and that's why I, i'm actually starting to be more fond of getting these cars from the salvage auction you guys know my 330i i picked it up from the dealership and put about six thousand dollars into it and i ended up having to swap the training and all that stuff actually a dealership car cost me more than this car, which is pretty sad. But and it wasn't even a 335i though. And it wasn't even a 335. Okay. It was and it had training issues, it had valve cover issues, it had water pump issues. God forbid it has a water pump issue on this. It has so much problems. All that is fixed and situated, but it, it salvaged a clean title. It's it's not about who took the car better. I mean, to be honest, like this car was better well maintained than my 50,000 mile clean title 330i. So that just comes to show that maintenance is key. And whoever they had this car previously maintained it pretty darn good. Yeah, so for those of you guys who are wondering, uh, is a 335i affordable? I think it is quite affordable if you pick it up and try to do a, you know, a little build. Try to pick up a project, do not go to the dealership, especially if you get a 335, do not finance a 335 because you, you're already on a budget and having to pay monthly payments and do the maintenance on top is gonna kinda keep you on a really, really, really tight budget and you don't wanna do that because of course you wanna still have a life. So I recommend getting this, you know, either really cheap from Craigslist and just fix it find one that's a fixer-upper or find one that's rebuildable off Craigslist or Copart. This was a vandalized car, it ended up being worst case scenario. But just make sure to check out the cars, pick up like something that's pretty minor damage, and it'll be in tip top shape. So that's all there is to it. So without further ado guys, I love you guys so much. That is pretty much the cost of my 335i. I'm really happy about that. Uh, we'll give you guys one on my brother's F30 once it's nearly complete. We want everything OEM on that car, so it's not gonna be as cheap as this, uh, but you know, um, it, the car came out beautifully and we'll give you guys a quote on that like pretty much all the parts and all the money We put into it if you guys want that make sure to smash the like button if you guys want that and Let us know down in the comments so without further ado love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out Yeah, I came a long way Had a tough few years Still I wouldn't change shit That's the reason I'm here Had to battle my thoughts Had to fight my fears Now I wouldn't change shit That's the reason I'm here they can say what they like about me I'm just moving at a different speed Everybody was the first to tell me Not too many saw what I could see